Ah, well, hello there, my good creatures of the future times, and welcome to another episode of the new Millennials Daily. Today, a special treat for you. We're going to talk about a consumer product here on Earth in the 21st century that, uh, particularly as of late during our global pandemic, has been in great demand. And I'm talking about toilet paper. Now, a thousand years from now, you may not even know what this is. Well, it has a few different names around the world. It's loo paper in England or bog roll. Um, now, you know, if you're alive here in the 21st century with me, watching this with me on YouTube, of course, we all know damn well what this is. But every day we eat, of course. We've covered this in other episodes of The Daily. But we also have to get rid of excess bodily created waste product uh, that uh, we don't need. So that's as delicately as I can put the concept of human beings taking a shit. Anyways, after we poop, we have to clean our bums up. We have to get all the shit off our bums. Now, because I have an ounce of decorum, uh, and I'm not really much of a biological exhibitionist, I'm not actually going to show you taking a shit. Uh, you're going to have to picture poop coming out of my backside. But then what I want to talk about today is how we clean it up. And, and, and uh, there'll be a roll of this in the bathroom, and we'll, we'll take some, like so. Wad it up in our hands, and then wipe our bums. And how we know if we have cleaned our bum is we take a look at the paper. And if there's brown shit on it, we're just gonna have to keep wiping until there's no brown shit on it. So anyways, Toilet paper these days is made with what we call post-consumer waste, where it's not the first time it's been a paper product. Uh, and toilet paper is becoming more and more expensive, and because of the pandemic, for some reason, it's more and more in demand. I think people are taking more shits. Um, but because of this, maybe, some popular brands of toilet paper have begun to do something rather strange. Now, I'm wearing a black sweater today, so that you might be able to see what happens when I take this roll and roll it down on myself. Yes. Can you see that? That's like thick paper bleach dust. And we wipe that across our anuses and bum cheeks. And it creates, instead of white dust, kind of a, a poo product that we need to use something else in addition to this to get the little, um, brown balls, shit balls, off of our shitter, pooper, cornhole, pie hole, cornhole. Okay, I'll show you what, what, what I mean. These are baby wipes. Now, we're not to flush these down the toilet, but these are a little bit more robust, and they're moist, and they can clean, clean off the, the, the white dust, which uh, on my shirt here was white, but if it had been uh, smeared in, in recent uh, poop, it would be brown and have to be taken off. And, and using one or two of these, I would be able to take the dirty toilet paper off my butt, which was supposed to be taking the poop off my butt. <laughs> Modern first world problems, I tell you what. Anyways, I have one or two of those and they can't be flushed down the toilet. Can't do it. No, those have to go in the garbage. Uh, but most of our westernized North American septic systems can handle uh, flushing our dirty, dirty shit tickets down, down the drain, away from the house, and into the sea. Because that's what we do with our poop. I've told you that in a much earlier episode of The Daily. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, I do have an ounce of decorum, so I spared you, my good creatures of the future times, the, uh, the embarrassing, shameful act of a human being pooping. Because it's, we're not at our best, we make fun. Funny facial expressions while we do it. Uh, it's private time. Even husband and wife, brother and sister, best friends usually don't watch each other while we poo. It's a very private, personal affair. Um, and that's why I'm not demonstrating me taking a shit because I'm terribly ashamed of, of my daily poops. Um, yeah. But that's all I'll say about that and leave it to your imagination. And not just for me, but for the seven, eight billion of us on planet Earth who have to poop every single day. And some of us use about a roll of this every single day. Go figure, eh?
should mention that Booger doesn't have to wipe her butt. Booger licks her butt clean after she poops, but her poops are really clean. Uh, and what we do is we pick up the poops in, in plastic bags and we knot the bag together and, uh, and throw it out in a garbage can. We don't flush that down the toilet. No, we can't do that. Uh, on another episode of The Daily, I will demonstrate uh, what we do with dog poop. Until then, stay cool, my creatures and cats of the future times.